Today, we're going to configure the M9C Pro Media TV box right after this. Hi, I am Dario from Media Box, and today we're going to config and just config the M9C Pro 4K. What we see right now is a Buddha screen. This video will be only configuration. We're not going to be looking at any application. And imagine you just bought this box and you want to know how to config, or you're going to be buying this box and you want to know ahead how to config. So this is the only purpose of this video. We're going to config. We're going to have another video. We're going to do an open box. And we have another video called it also inside lock in that video we're going to look into application we're going to try to do camcast application we're going to try to see if it's over here we're going to open the hardware we're going to see the inside lock the whole entire box run some application run Cody. that's a different video this we're going to config so we're going to go straight to config the video all right i mean config the box so the first thing we're going to do we're going to go into settings very important um, before we move into the configuration just pay attention to the picture on the screen and you see the remote control. Make sure, I'm pointing out right now, make sure you shut down your um, mouse. You see me on every video moving so freely, okay, because I'm using a regular mouse. We talk about regular mouse, regular USB wireless mouse. Now, the ones that has a remote control, I don't care what box it is. From the Pro to the MQ to any box, XT95, any box, they are real slow mouse. So for the configuration, it's going to take you a real long time if you activate the mouse. So please shut it down. The only thing you're going to be using from now on in any application, 99.9% .9 is going to be your round key. If you look, it's, it's a center key. You're going to go up, down, left, right, and the middle middle screen, the middle button is going to be for your OK, your Enter key. It's the only thing you got to use. So look, look your remote control, and you can navigate left, right, up and down, and then the center key, shut your mouse. It will be the best thing you can do. It will be real easy to configure box. So now let's move to the configuration. 15 as far as if you're going to connect your box to the Ethernet port, there's nothing to play here. You connect and it should detect it once automatically. Nothing to do here. Now, I always recommend to connect these boxes using Ethernet port. Wi Fi, they always, no matter what company, they all have, they seem to have problem. But 99% of the people use Wi Fi. So let's use the Wi Fi now. If you know the choice, and here it's, it's already connected, it's already tried to connect it. We're going to click here, make sure you see here it says it's on. I'm going to turn it off. By default, a lot of these boxes, now they start coming on, is on this, but many times it's off. So people tend not to see this part. People go here and see it all. Nothing happened. Please turn it on. And they try to click this. Okay, make sure you turn it on. Okay. Again, lately this that on i have a lot of people call me hey why is that coming on I, I, and then well you got to turn it on but all right so you're going to click your network all right and then you're going to type your password and it's connected done only once you're going to do that all right display display resolution leave it automatic it should detect it automatically it's nothing to play with this you can turn the color on deeply if you want. It's on, and that's it. You can play around with different resolution, and Android 6.0 will allow you to go back to the old resolution if you want. With 5.1 or 4.4, then allow you. So if you did click the wrong resolution, it's done. Then you have to go to somebody else TV to try to unlock it. So it's kind of nice. So we're going to leave it automatically. Screen position, yes, you want to play with this. Make sure do calibration once, okay? Zoom out and make sure you see the borders, they are all okay. All right? In case this seems to be 100, okay? It's fine, this is not a TV, it's a caption card, so it's not going to show me right, but new TV will be different. A screen position, 
But only pair with this if you planning to run applications they are not compatible with this and some application made for phone or for tablet in the screen it needs to be moved so you can play with this and change only from some applications they require to use it now you leave it the way it is only if you're going to try to play a game on some app will require that to change it you change it once and you'll have to come back and change again now navigation bar this is real nice. It's the first box I see for the navigation bar. Um, I'm going to put a link because we have a lot of users that want the navigation bar and some users they don't want the navigation bar. It's like 50 50. It's nice. By default, it comes off. So it means to turn it on the first time. See, like now, because I power it off in this. So every time you power off the box, you need to do this. Okay, so I powered off the box. Now it needs to be on. So it needs to be reset. So we're going to reset it. We leave it on. Now remember, this is when you physically take the power off. If you're going to do soft reboot or you're going to do a standby mode, you don't need to do that. But since I did that now, I'm going to have to unplug it and turn it on back again. So let's do that. All right, so I reset it, and now if you see, we got the bar. Now what happened, maybe I don't want the bar anymore. I can hide it. So in the old box, you have to use like a mouse because it's real hard to use the keyboard. People have to go like here. You see in the middle of the screen, try to go up and up and up. And then we're spending about like a lot of emails and, and a lot of comments. How can I get it? Why it's so hard? Okay, what is this is nice. We're going to go back into settings, and we're going to go back into... Well, we got that display. Let's click on display, navigation bar, and and look this. Now it's off. Now it's on. So I can turn it off and on. Real nice, but only now if I leave it on and I shut the power off, then I'm going to have to turn it on, recycle again the power to this to be on. But I'm going to leave it off. Real nice. Daydream is a screen blanker. Okay. You want to set maybe you clock pictures. When you see that, you put how many minutes you want it, five minutes, 10 minutes, and after 10 minutes or five minutes, you get the clock on the screen. You can sit into sleep after five hours, 10 hours, or 12 hours, they, you leave the box now touching it, not watching anything, it will automatically go to make your screen go blank, okay? All right. This one, why not leave it on? This is dynamic range because now the X, 905 supports so uh, dynamic range. So leave it on in case you play some video that has a dynamic range. We're going to leave it on. Sounds here. We're going to leave it on. Digital. Leave it automatically. Okay. So in case you want to use a fiber optic, 99% of the sound is going to go through HDMI. But you leave it on automatic in case in the future you want to play around and make any changes. So leave it auto detection, just do the trick. Uh, what else? Applications. Here we're going to install and uninstall application. This is not the purpose for this video. So we're not going to look over how to install and uninstall applications. Storage and device. We'll click on it. And I want to show you something here. This is the internal memory of the box. My version is the 8 gigabyte version. And here I just hooked up a 250 gig hard drive. Okay. Now what I want to show you is here you can copy, you can put all your MP3s, all your videos, and install in the hard drive. Now you click on it, and you see here it's a format as a storage device. If you click here, what's going to happen now? It's going to format my 250 gig hard drives and will become part of internal memory. This is good if you want to download a lot of applications. The only problem, if you're going to do that and you're going to disconnect your drive, you're going to lose all your applications or it's not going to work the time they disconnect it. So I do recommend if you want to use internal memory, just buy a 32 or 64 gig uh, micro SD card and just hook it up into the box. Or you can still use a USB drive or you can use um, any drive. Now, by the way, this drive I formatted NTFS. You can put up to four terabyte works with a problem once again we're going to look into all these little details and to my next video coming up in a few weeks called inside look storage 
we can see internal storage here we click once we click one more time and we can reset the factory reset again it's not the purpose of this video just show you in case you prefer to reset your box all right about we're going to check see make sure we run the latest version as we see here 60.1 android um set the time you need to do this once you're going to go into date oh sorry you're going to go into time set your time zone you click here you're going to choose your time zone once and then it's going to pull the time from your network done okay you do that once okay one way you know when you are not connected to the network when you have the wrong time over there easily do you know when your network is failing language you're going to set your language if you want to change your language you set it right over there keyboard i will leave the way it is it's nothing to play around but if you want to set a different keyboard a different language you're going to do it here this one you want to leave it on by default this one comes all on this one will control utv if utv supports uh, hdmi uh, cac control so when you turn your box on you should turn your tv on and if you are in hdmi output one it should do that automatic make the switch automatic utv so you can leave it on it's not going to do if not you can shut it off it, it does any problems with your tv play by settings you want to leave it off this is only to play around if you have a problem or if you switching from different 50 hertz to 60 hertz so leave it off if you have any problem you can turn it on and the most of the 99 percent of people that leave it off is self adaptation power settings normally the bus comes a suspend mode mode so when you turn you power it off on the remote becomes a red light on is green light but if you hit this one it will totally shut it down so it takes longer to start every time you turn the box on here if you want to change your tax uh a speech to text and didn't work um i will try that in the next video but it's not working okay most settings here we can see a little more details in the settings here we can see now more details in the wi-fi we can choose different ones we can turn it off and on data use we don't care this is for foam here again airplane mode we're not going to be playing around with none of this if you say your vpm set it there okay so in this play we're going to click once we already went through all this but this is an extra cast okay cast it for your chromecast device if you never see this before is is a little device 30 other device from google it's called chromecast this will allow you to mirror the screen to another device to another tv so pretty simple if you have a chromecast you move the chromecast to another room you have to make sure it's in the same network if you're running vpn it's not going to work so make sure that everything is in the same network no vpn allowed then you click in cast it's, it takes a little bit it's going to search for your device it takes a little more time when we find it we're going to click on it we connect and i'm going to show you and i'm going to display in the video here but we are connected so the idea now and if you go into your uh, applications and you play a video from here let's say you go to youtube and you play the video here it will display in your tv with no problems okay there's the idea to play any video from the box to any other tv in your house that's different from miracast 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 is going to allow you to grab your phone and display uh, a video from your phone to the to the screen to your box so let me show you all right so i activate already the miracast in my phone accept it and it's going to connect and that's it we got it all right so anything i do on my phone is going to just play right on the screen now my next video will come in at in uh in a few weeks it's going to call inside look and there we're going to i'm going to show you how to configure your phone how to do mirror cast chromecast we're going to look at everything okay this is just configuration which is a proof that everything works fine 
applications memory we can see the memory where we're using the last three hours this is android 6.0 not much to do there sans notifications you can make sure if you got volume turn the volume all the way up and this you can turn all this down this is notification for applications so not much to do there storage and use usb here you can see all whatever you'll be using now the applications location okay here you can see your locations security google backup language we saw that already time uh printing i have not personally tried that uh, and what else day and time backup well, let's go back into here remote control we're going to leave it the way it is no need to play around with this it automatically takes your remote control i guess in location here so if you feel like big brother big brother is watching you you can turn it off it's going to put your location from the wi-fi all right Securing register and uh, right here you're gonna leave it on this one needs to be on if you want to be running up toy if you're gonna be running any application from the USB drive you want to turn it on if you turn this off then only allow you application from Google Store it accounts here you're gonna you Google account you can type your email so if you have a Google account if not I will always say create your account and regular computer come back over here and tap your password and email makes much easier to do only requires this if you're going to be downloading an application if you're going to use this box just to play Cody you don't have to do that you just install Cody from the USB drive and you're done all right so I think it and let me see I think we're done we went over everything let's go back into um All right, let me go over another or more settings here in security. This is all for your phone, so you don't need to play around with this. As you see here, sweep, sweep to like the screen. This is just the form, so we don't need to do nothing there. Just leave it the way it is as default. You need to play there. And accounts here, here you can edit accounts. If you got Facebook, you can edit all the accounts, or you can do it by installing Facebook and then edit the account right in the application. But here you hit Google as well first. You have to do that. And uh, this Google here is your location, your security. When you set up your Google, you can play with all these settings. Normally leave it the way it is. And back and restore. This you gotta turn it on. And then what happens is in application you've been downloading anything, it will automatically back up into Google in case you reset the box. And when you put your account, it will download again all your applications and all the settings. All right. And that will be it. I think we got everything. And I think we got all, everything on the configuration. Remember, this was a config video. We're going to have another two videos on open box and also as well um, deep, deep into the configuration of this um, the M9C Pro. All right, guys, with this, we'll complete the video. And let me know, write in the comment of the video, what, what will be your um, best use for this box. You're going to be using for Cody, you're going to be playing games. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.